Hello, 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 and welcome back to another RTA clip of something that I did in the past that I'm now talking over in the future of about, like, five hours, I guess. It says right there on the screen. I can see it. You can see it. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. It's my typical, oh, I went aggro draft. That's pretty much... They committed themselves to being slow, and then they threw Lua in there, and then they continued to be slow with Ilanov, so I just went with it. Uh, so it's your typical match. This one will probably be two or three clips, because I don't know that this is very long. It will depend on what happens. Uh, so I go into the LR Crow here with the Zahak 1. To keep Zahak, or, um, to keep LRK alive and also to neuter his damage a bunch. But most importantly, under my own presumptions, put Destina at the highest HP so that Straws will kill her. And he does. Uh, and he also does a good hefty chunk to um, LR Kraut. Now, they are kind of priced into either going for DJB or Aiden. They decide to go into Aiden under the presumption that if they miss, her S2 counter will strip the barriers from everybody. But, of course, there's no effectiveness, so it only strips the person that has no effect resist, which would be the Ilanov in this case. So, I can still use DJB's S2 to hopefully blind some people. Went after Ilanov there because... Uh, LRK is going to die. I'm not really afraid of him or anything he can do. I just push up here because I know that my straws more than likely will not lap either the Ilanov or the LRK. LRK is just going to go and rip the S3. Due to the injury from Zahak, it is not going to do a lot, uh, if we're honest. Uh, and then the... The Aiden is dead, 100%. Whether this hits or misses, it does not matter. Um, the blind Ilanov, of course, does hit the DJB, though. But big boy Straz uh, is going to be the one carrying this team, so I decide he deserves the soul burn so that I'm able to use his S2 again. Zahak will be going into the Ilanov. I get the hit, which is great. Um, there's a little bit of luck in either either corner because now they're going to S2 into Zahak uh, despite being blind and hit him. Um, so unfortunate on my end, but my um, strays will get to go again. This S2 will absolutely kill the Ilanov. And now the Karina is going to kill the Zahak, which is unfortunate but expected. And now we just... We just play the fun speed game of I'm going to keep hitting your Karina with my Stray's S1, which I shall probably Mola. Uh, I I think he's only a plus two Mola on his S1 because I don't really ever expect to be using it all that much. Um, she has one more turn until her S3. Uh, even without defense break there, I think we would have lived. Um, so we get this, we get the push up, and we absolutely outspeed the Karina, which is expected. Even if we didn't, DJB would have been able to push ahead, and then Strays would have been able to rip his second S3 for the game and take down the Karina, which is great. But that was such a short match, we're going to show you another one, and this is, this is what happens when you let control accidentally happen. Um, so Solitaria, they did not pick a cleanser. And then I picked Solitaria and Pirate Captain Flan, and then they continued not to pick a cleanser. So I got to run Buckwild with Control, which is great. I'm going to try to stun and push back the um, LRK, test its effect resist. Um, it was enough effect resist to resist the the pushback, but I don't think it's enough to just get old. I think the that was 15% because he did get hit by the other two. Um, debuffs are well just gonna go s3 into Alencia because she can strip aria's um evasion from everybody or stealth sorry so now the benny maro has to attack but he has to go into Ar uh, aria who will counter and then the aravi has to go and she will go in 
to Aria, and we'll get the counter. So this is just a demonstration, uh, another demonstration of Benny Maru. I didn't really have any extra turns, so I don't know why they picked Benny Maru. Maybe they just wanted to try out Benny Maru, but he just kind of died. Uh, I don't need souls, so Crown of Glory on LRK doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and try and stun him so that he can't do his horsey times. Uh, DJB, I probably could have left him in stealth, but I decided to get cocky as I am wont to do. Just do that. Try to stun the Alencia here. Uh, luck, not on their side. Stun the Alencia. <laughs> um, and now the Aravi still probably wouldn't be able to kill anybody. <laughs> so they gave up. Um, which is understandable when you're faced against control. Uh, and then this last one I thought was very interesting just because they went, like, full commit to Hua Young, which is, it's a thing to be doing in the year of our Lord 2023. Uh... I don't know if it's a good thing, but it is a thing to be doing. Uh, so Leica is just there to give uh, attack buff. Uh, Seal Elias is there to give vigor buff. Um, Leica unfortunately did not go back into Guiding Light, which is funny to me regardless. So now, if they had been able to strip the Aureus from... Are well, they might have been able to go into a Ravi here, but they don't know that they'd be able to kill, uh, so they have to go into Arwell here. And boy, howdy, it sure does a, a lot of damage. However, I, I don't care, uh, because now she's just kind of a sitting duck for a while. And while it is great that um, there's a belly in and I have a stene, and that's not exactly great. Uh, I'm just going to try to get the Leica down as much as possible for my Aravi to be able to take care of her. Um, get this. They can S3 get the defense buff. If it doesn't hit um, Aiden, she can counter. Still won't kill the, um, the Leica, ideally, because I have attack down. And it does not. Aravi deciding to get into the fun as well. Uh, Leica is hyper Omega dead. Um, so, yeah, I just get to bring back the Arwell that just died, and since Stene is my pride and joy in this match, and it will take Hua Young roughly 30 years to be able to get to her, I'm just gonna go ahead and stun this Bellion. This does guarantee dual attacks with Hua Young, but Hua Young doesn't push herself on her S1 anymore, because, boy, they sure snap those legs at the joint, um, so she's priced into going into um, Arwell again. She still has three turns before her next, which I can almost guarantee I'll be able to kill her before then. Because I can just S1 into her, and I can just send as much damage as possible into, um, into her. And they can't really do much about it. Uh, so Landy, or Landy, uh, it Aiden, gonna go again, uh, gain back a good amount of life from the S1. Hua Young, only 8,000, uh, I guess technically round up to 9,000, uh, goes into the A Ravi, which is a play uh, that I would not probably recommend in most, uh, most accounts. Chunk her down as well. She can, um, Seal Elias can now S2, push back either A Ravi or... Aiden, but Stene will absolutely be killing um, Hua Young here. Uh, they did not get the barrier on Hua Young, which is unfortunate, but she was going to die anyway, so it's fine. Uh, go into that, hit the Seal Elias as well. She's going to put back up the um, Vigor buff, but again, I don't care. My Stene is perfectly safe. Um, they still don't have any souls, which seems weird to me, considering they've, they seem like they've been doing a lot. I guess they soul burned Seal Elias's S2, I think. Seal Lily, gonna go down here. Bellion can do what Bellion does, even if she hits Aiden, which she does, and kill her. My A Ravi will not lose this fight, um, especially 
with a little bit of supplemental damage from Stene. But Stene's going to die here. That's fine. Um, even if they get the bonus attack, I doubt they'll be able to debuff um, Aravi since they didn't get the effectiveness buff, and they do not. And I just get to finish off Bellion with Aravi, much like it was in several seasons ago. Uh, when Aravi was a menace, and guess what? She is still a menace. Uh, do not underestimate Aravi. She will kill you if you do so. Uh, but yeah, those are some fun matches. I'm up here chilling. Uh, every day gets a higher Emperor cutoff, but I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve. There are only nine days left, so I just need to not lose my mind in those nine days and fall like 800 places. That's that's not how math works, but that's how I'm going to say it. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, get me a cup of water because my mouth is dry. Uh, if you did not like the video, then you are a secret belly and picker and I will find you. And if you felt incredibly neutral about the video, incredibly ambivalent about the video, uh, use your favorite word in a comment down below. Mine's butt. <laughs>